we're now going to look at something that's very important, which is the statistics that are available to you on the platform. Because in essence, this is giving you the ability to to uh, intervene as a, as a teacher. Even though this is a virtual classroom, you're going to be able to intervene in uh, in the, uh, the the students' work. Now. You can see here that uh, my students haven't been particularly active. Unfortunately, this is a test site. Uh, so I do have some data populated, but unfortunately not for this uh, particular section. Uh, but uh, I'll go through and I'll explain it and uh, I can show you some better activity uh, data further in. So um, here on the first uh, screen available to you on 360 reports, this is going to tell you uh, the average duration that the students have spent on the platform. And you'll be able to see uh, the days that they've actually attended uh, again it'll be make more sense when I dive in at the moment so this is these are overall views when I click on the individuals I'll be able to dive in and, and see exactly what an individual has been up to you'll also notice that on a lot of the screens there is an aeroplane shape a paper aeroplane and uh, when you choose individuals you will be able to message them so if you find individuals have not been uh, very active on the site you can then send them a message and say uh, um, it's interesting you haven't been on uh, have you explored etc etc uh, but uh, that is then uh, available to you on the progress screen you have a very valuable section here we'll be able to investigate exactly what activities the individuals have been looking at. Now, this gives me an overall arching idea of how many resources have been visited, how many activities have been completed. But again, we'll have a look in a deep dive because that will show you even more information. And on the grade section, any uh, assessments that you have made, uh, they will be uh, 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 filed for you and uh, a, a trend will be produced. So you can see in this case that uh, uh, my students uh, have, have produced uh, a grade trend that looks suspiciously the same for all of them. Uh, but uh, again, we'll have a deep dive. So we're going to have a look at uh, Daisy May. And you'll notice here then that uh, we have all sorts of different information. We can look at uh, grades by term. Uh, we can uh, have a look at uh, individual um, categories if we've set them up. And crucially, it, it will organise for you uh, an idea of uh, the, the progress the, the individuals are making. So again, uh, I could, if I want, uh, uh, when I've looked at this, I could then send a message to uh, to Daisy about her work if I if I uh, felt I needed to interject. So in this case, um, uh, we're going to go to uh, the progress menu next, and this is one of my favourite screens. The reason for this is because it shows all of the content on the platform, and it will show you how the students have interacted with that particular content, whether or not they've opened, visited, never visited. And uh, you get an awful lot of information uh, about the content. Again, it's all about visibility at the moment, particularly with the students uh, not being uh, available for you to, to directly interact with. Uh, this will give you a, a, few, uh, a few ideas. An activity, unfortunately I couldn't show that uh, really on the front screen, but you'll notice that uh, last year when my uh, site was populated properly, um, we do have a lot of data so I can see that on individual days in June uh, that uh, Daisy May made, uh, well, up to five visits on a day. So the darker the colour, the more visits. Um, but uh, it gets better than that, so I'm just going to go backwards to... Uh, find some data here we go so for instance I'll be able to see exactly how long uh, Daisy's been on the platform uh, and uh, I'll be able to compare that with uh, the rest of the class uh, so the line is the course average and I'll also be able to look at uh, the number of visits again uh, and in this case uh, Daisy is uh, 
is, is performing above uh, average, which is great. So I can also see visits per day, average per day in terms of the duration as well. So hopefully that's given you uh, some ideas of uh, how you can use the 360 reports. And uh, I think at the moment, uh, this section will be valuable, particularly to those who uh, are not necessarily used to using the learning platform before. Um, it will give you uh, great visibility over uh, what the students are, are doing and uh, the interventions you might need. Alongside that, uh, there's also a mark book, uh, which is in status and follow up. And in here, uh, uh, we will find uh, individual uh, uh, assessment records that have been uh, uh, added to the mark book. And you'll notice that um, I've also got categories as well, so I can have a look at all of the categories that I've set up. Again, what will happen is that um, provided you use uh, uh, a marking scale that uh, uh, an administrator will need to set up, but if you have used this marking scale, then the system will uh, find the average for you, which is incredibly useful.